So if you look back at all the magazine and newspaper articles about the particle discovery announced on July 4th, 2012, you'll see that physicists were very careful with our language. We did not refer to the particle as the Higgs boson, but simply a Higgs-like boson. The reason for this was that we did not, and still do not, have enough data in order to conclusively say it's the Higgs boson and it could be nothing else. In essence, our announcement was, we definitely see something, it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, but we're a bit nearsighted and hard of hearing, so it could actually be a goose. Now what's the goose in this analogy? Well, it turns out there's a number of attractive theories on the market which predict bosons similar to the Higgs boson, or even multiple Higgs bosons. Supersymmetry is one example. In supersymmetry, there's a super partner for each of the standard model particles. This doubles the number of particles in nature, and we can't give mass to all of these particles with just a single Higgs boson. So in supersymmetry, there's at least five Higgs bosons. It's entirely possible that the particle we discovered in 2012 is one of these Higgs bosons, and its four friends are just hiding at slightly higher masses, out of reach of the present LHC. That's why we're going to soon be upgrading the LHC to almost double its current energy in order to probe higher mass scales and see if we really found the Higgs or if we just found a Higgs.